Live from PA TV Studios, it's the Lyle Style Show. And now, the man with the most style, it's your host, Lyle Style. Hey, well, wow, wow. I, I'm going to say welcome to the Lyle Style Show. Uh, we have a, a very treat for you, an interesting, have an interesting guest. She is a wonderful person, a beautiful person, um, and um, I don't even know how to describe her, but her name is, <laughs> her name is Nalani, and she uh, has her own business, uh, Wine ther ther Therapy, and mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking to her a little bit about how she got started in it. And Nalani, thank you. Welcome to the show. Aloha. Uh, aloha to you, young lady. <laughs> and you know what? You have, you have, a te you have a, a, some, somebody that wants to talk to you and w wants to kind of share her experience uh, about, about what you did for her. Okay. So, so what we, before we start, we're we going to get her on the telephone and okay. talk to her. Okay. So let's, uh, oh, there she go. Yep, there she go. Let me get here. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, welcome to the Lyle Style Show, young lady. Uh, uh, guess who I have here on the show with me? Uh, I would say someone named Nalani. Yeah, Nalani. Well, well, first of all, hey, why don't you introduce yourself so people the the uh, viewers can kind of know who you are. Uh, my name is Deborah Shively Welch. I'm an author, and I met Nalani at Pow Wow this summer. Okay. Uh, Pow Wow? Okay, yeah, now. <laughs> we were in Pow Wow yeah. in Osage, Iowa, and I met Nalani there. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so, so now, tell me something to, to, so the viewers would know. What, what did she do for you? What, would you have something to, to uh, say to Nalani? Well, what... Uh, I was there, Powell. We, you know, we saw each other going around. Pat, you know, the two days that we were there, and said hi and talked a little bit. And then um, she came up to me the second day and asked me to come to her tent, which I did. We were there. I don't even know how long we were there. It was over an hour, and she basically did a reading on me. She well, two things. So she gave me a reading, completely off the cuff. I have not told her a single thing. She gave me a reading, came up with some amazing things. And then later on in Pow Wow, I was limping quite severely. I have bad arthritis in my right knee. And she put her hands on my knee. No, I'm not saying she cured the arthritis. I'm saying that for the next three days, I had no pain. She got me through Pow Wow and home with what she did. Mm -hmm. But she also, um, she, she, she gave me some predictions that are pretty amazing. She told me that... I had two events coming up in my life. Uh, one was going to be sort of small, and then one was going to be huge and was going to change my life. But they were both something that I had wanted all my life. And I came home and went to my mailbox and found an envelope that said, Colonel Deborah Shively Welch, and I opened it up and found out that I had been made a, made a Kentucky Colonel, something I've wanted since my 30s. Mm. I've always wanted to be a Kentucky Colonel. There's no way N Nalani could have known this. Yeah, so she didn't know none of this stuff. She didn't even know it. No. Nobody knew. Not even your own husband didn't know, huh? I knew I'd been nominated, but I thought, well, shoot, who am I? You know, I just, because you have to be nominated. I knew I'd been nominated, but I didn't think any, you know, and I didn't tell anybody because I didn't think it was going to go through. Mm-hmm. And then last week I was given a call. I don't know if this is the next big event or not, but I was made an offer on a project that could be extremely successful for me. Wow. Ooh, okay. What well, I mean, so, extremely this successful? Is kind of, cool. This is out of the blue, too. So. I mean, wait, wait, now, now, can you expand on it just quickly? Is it, is it, is it a, much into detail about what the project is because... Uh, right now, we're in negotiations, and it has to be kept private. Oh. Mm. But uh, if it goes through, if the project goes through, it'll be big. Wow. Oh. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. So I'll jump the gun. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you, Imani. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, ho- I mean, you know, you said it would completely change my life and not to be afraid. Um, very few things frighten me, but it, uh, it does cause concern. But what it <coughs> will be will be. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I accepted the possibility of this project and we'll move forward. You know, and see what comes of it. So, it's it's pretty. I was surprised to say the least. I thought when you told me this, I thought it was something else I'm working on. That was going to be the big thing. Uh, so who knows? Who knows? Well, I said too. Um, that was upcoming. What I didn't say is any others that will be coming. Mm. That's true. I said the two that would be coming. Exactly. So if so, you keep a sense of humor and a positive thought. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, it just, the whole thing has just, has just, you know, blown me away. And mm-hmm. I mean, coming straight home and going straight to my mailbox and finding that letter mm-hmm. was enough to think, okay. Because I've been read before, mm-hmm. and, you know, you can tell it's a cold reading, and they're trying to get you to respond mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. they can, you know, pull things out and make it seem really real. Nalani told me, don't say anything. I'm going to talk to you. Mm-hmm. And <coughs> nailed so many things, just nailed them. With me just sitting there, not saying a word. Mm. Wow. I'm shaking a little. <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. What, what a wonderful thing, though. So, um, you know what? You have to keep us posted about what's going on, you know, uh, about everything. And, you know, hey, I, you know, I just might be interviewing you when that big thing comes up for my show. Okay. <laughs> when that day comes, that's what we'll do. Okay. But uh, It'll come sooner yeah, than I'm you just think. I'm so grateful for Nolly and not Lenali. Not. I'm sorry, I told you that I have a hard time with names. My brain switches <laughs> syllables. Oh. So, yeah, my brain, it, my <coughs> first date with my husband, I asked him, I said, and what a midi pole soon, mm-hmm. which is supposed to be pretty full moon. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm yeah. so grateful for meeting you, Nalani, because... Uh, You've helped me approach what is possibly, what is obviously now coming with a much more calm attitude. Oh, wow. Um, Yeah. um, Before, I think I would have been bouncing off the walls and (laughs) and going crazy. I'm I'm an excitable person. Mm -hmm. Um, But I just, when I got that offer, it was kind of like, okay, yeah, all right. (laughs) It sounds cool. It could be fun. Yeah. So, so we have good. experience and adventure coming up. So, so, so it was an amazing hour and a half, a very amazing hour and a half, mm. uh, in that little tent in a pow at Powell <laughs> with someone I'd barely met, you know, mm-hmm. sitting down and telling me things about myself that only I know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's wonderful. Just thing. amazing. Yeah, she's a. And then predicting, predicting the just even the. Kentucky Colonelship, to me, was amazing. Yeah, yeah. She's a wonderful person, though. But, but anyway, we're going to um, uh, we'll probably talk to you later and whatnot. And thank you for even sharing that testimony uh, about this wonderful person on, on my show. Well, thank you for allowing me to. Okay. Mahalo, I sister. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mahalo, Nui Loa, sister. <laughs> Loa, sister. So happy to talk to you. Okay. Aloha. Yes. Aloha. Mm-hmm. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Uh-huh. Wow. Wow, what a testimony now. Uh, I, girl, oh, that's a testimony right there. And, and it's one I never heard. The one of you, so it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. But we want to get, we, we, we got, you know, that show goes by so fast. So I would like to talk to you as you how you got started and what you're doing and, and your business and, and, and everything. Kind of, kind of give the viewers a little bit of background okay. about yourself. Well, um, it's been in my family for generations, first of all, mm-hmm. um, even before the birth of Christ. So to say the least, um, I didn't know. 
Um, I just found out one day when I had my hand on a girlfriend who had just, um, well, gotten some bad news. Mm -hmm. And so I was holding her mm -hmm. to comfort her, not knowing that that type of situation would bring out whatever skills I may have. Mm. <clears throat> and she pushed me away only to see my handprints on her body. And I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. That was the day my journey began. I called home and I spoke to three different aunts and the last one I got told me about my grandmother. Okay. And asked me, don't you remember, don't you? I remember when I was little, there were all kinds of people that came in. But like most people, you know, you, you know, your grandparents are just a little different, <laughs> you know, and you just accept it. Mm -hmm. um, but as time went on, things started escalating. And my husband then, who is now deceased, had phlebitis. So as I learned the way to do therapy on his legs, mm -hmm. and he was the first that was using the pump for the leg sock okay. in Iowa. And um, I also hurt him. Right. Now I really needed to home into what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. And I have two kumus, which is teachers, one from Hawaii and one here in Iowa. And I just called them and I, I was on it for hours. And basically they said, when you are ready, your grandmother will help you. Well, that's what they said. Yes. So in 19, between 1979 to 1980, it was a learning process. Mm -hmm. That's when I discovered I could help. Wow. If I put my hand on someone, mm -hmm. I could help them. And as time progressed, that's when I started with the Lomi Lomi, which is massage mm -hmm. Okay. in English. I call it Lomi Lomi massage because mm -hmm. most people don't know the Hawaiian word. Oh. So I use both. Okay, yeah. And it is called that Lomi Lomi. So I just incorporated that into it. Um, not even knowing that even speaking to someone who is going through emotional stress or mm -hmm. physical stress might also help them while I'm doing the massage. Oh, okay. So I've been doing this uh, basically really started at 80, 1981. Um, but every year that goes by, I find something new. Mm -hmm. And I never know until I'm working on someone. I do it on the phone. On the I phone. do it on Facebook. I do it long distance. You know, I believe in God. Yes. Amen. And I'm his tool. Mm -hmm. He can be anywhere. We need the phone. Yeah. We need the Facebook. Mm -hmm. So what I have found is I can do it long distance because they'll tell me. Wow. And of course, I have those that I help at work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, with, I believe too. that was with Julie. Yeah, with Julie. Yep. Um, oh, the wow, other man. was uh, a fellow that works in the back, in the kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. He had a problem. He pulled a muscle. Okay. Uh, but I will do that karaoke. I will wow. do it in the uh, anywhere. Wow. Just... When I see someone in pain, mm -hmm. I ask. Wow. I don't have to know them. All yeah. I know is the gift that was given to me was to be shared. And since I am of the Aloha spirit, mm -hmm. that is the way we share. Wow. What a wonderful thing. So wow. to say the least, I work with terminally ill. Mm -hmm. I even work with those who are pregnant. Oh, wow. I Did work with the babies as well. Mm -hmm. I've helped youngsters that had cancer or, or water in the brain. Or, mm -hmm. um, I've helped those with lupus. A headache, yeah, yeah. back pain, mm -hmm. muscle pain, um, before or after surgery, I've helped others. I also work on pets. On, on pets? Yes. Now, how could, okay, that's, that's very interesting. Well, pets, you know, um, when pets is having a bad day, you know when they're having a bad day. Okay. And if their owner knows what's going on, more or less, mm -hmm. um, they'll call me. Okay. And then I'll put, let, the animal will be on my lap, and then I'll go from there. Wow. And I give them a massage while I'm talking to them or singing to them. It's whichever it's needed at mm -hmm. the time. At the time, okay. So mm -hmm. to say the least, I do all of it. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, you did, okay, wow, that's, that's, and, and okay, now, 
And <laughs> he had an interesting testimony about, we, we shared something, we talked a little bit, and you told me a little bit about, about, your, uh, about your experience in politics. Oh, yes. Um, I never knew what a delegate was. Okay, yeah. That was the first thing. And then I was asked to be one. I said, I never met one. Mm -hmm. So how can I be one? Mm -hmm. No, I was corrected. It's your belief. Yeah. It's not whether or not you will be one. It's what do you want changed? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. So I started speaking of what I wanted changed. And I wanted it changed. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to just watch TV. If something comes up, I'll research. I won't take the word of someone on a newscast mm -hmm. <laughs> to be just that. Right. I have to find out. So, long story, very short, I finally did, and I became a national delegate. Okay, you say a national delegate. So that, a national that was, delegate. That's, that's, that's the big time. That's the big one. Yeah. And I knew that I didn't have no inclination to um, pursue it the first couple times that we did go to conference. Mm -hmm. I just, it wasn't in me, even though I spoke. But when we went to, to Des Moines, Iowa, okay. I knew I had to. At that point, yeah. I was ready, and I did. <laughs> I still work in the shadows, so okay. to speak, okay. and um, in helping to educate, if nothing else, you know, because you can stay home and be angry all day, yeah. but it doesn't do a thing unless you become involved. Mm -hmm. And if it's one person at a time, so be it. <laughs> Changing one person's lives at a time. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. And uh, it's because of that that I started thinking about books, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that I talked to you about. Right, yeah, your, your children, children books. Your... And um, I noticed that as I traveled because we have uh, 99 counties in Iowa. Mm -hmm. I traveled 66 of them mm -hmm. um, in every av venue that you can think of, from schools to farms mm -hmm. to on the road, mm -hmm. on the street, <laughs> kids walking. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to get a sense of what everybody's needs are. And it was the kids that made a difference with me. Mm -hmm. But this generation is so different from when I was born. I may not look it, but I've been around a while. <laughs> you look so young. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to say the least, um, I found that there was a need because old school is missing. Mm -hmm. You know, the way we were raised, the things that we we're supposed to do, you know, uh, respecting your elders, knowing the difference, um, never talking back, saying hello, mm -hmm. saying goodbye, excuse me, thank you, mm -hmm. forgive me. All those things are missing. You're, right. You're exactly right. Yeah. So I started writing a book. Oh. Shit. And so that led to the next book, only because uh, coming from Hawaii and having that, I've been told so many different stories throughout my life. Mm -hmm. I wanted to introduce it to the children by right. way of an interactive book that I have in mind. Mm. So it would definitely teach in a way, mm -hmm. but still, you would learn about the myths of Hawaii, okay. our beliefs, things like that, but all in animation. All in animation, see, that, that's cool. Yeah. That's just cool. That, <clears throat> are, you, are you looking towards a name for the book, or? Not yet. Not yet? Not and, yet. And, and then you also were telling me about, you know, that you was even trying to shop around with a, a breathing rainbow. Yes, I, um, in fact, <laughs> that's funny you should say that, if my computer did not go down today, uh, uh, I would have been sending him another email. Okay. But yes, that's one of my hopes yeah. that I will connect with LeVar Burton mm -hmm. and be able to make this a reality. Right. Because yeah. the <clears> book <throat> is just a prototype and um, they're going to be interactive. Okay. That's so in order to do that, I have to have that type of venue. Mm -hmm. And I know they could work with me. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, that, that, you know, I mean, yeah because really. this will be the first one ever the way I'm thinking. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. I can't wait till that happens. Me neither. I can't wait. <laughs> it's all in here. It's all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you, and you, you know, as you're doing the writing, you're doing the writing and whatnot, and your friend, she's going And in fact, you gave me a name of a fellow to yeah. uh, help me. Yes. 
in the meantime, I had been in contact with one of my nephews back home. Mm -hmm. So I gave him homework. Okay, okay, yeah. So I told him, think Hawaiian, and I gave him um, ideas. Mm -hmm. Then I told him, make me the characters. Oh, shoot, so. Because so he's a very good artist. It's okay, oh wow, and I can't wait to see that. And so I can't either. Mm. And he said he would get it done in a couple of weeks, and that was a week and a half ago. Okay. And I said, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I know how the creative juices works, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'd rather work on a positive. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I'll, yeah, right. And, and that, that, it sounds like that would be a really good thing for kids yes. to, to learn an interactive book that's interactive that they can be That would be on with. stage. Oh, st that's really? why it'll be different. Wow. The book is just a prototype. Wow. Yeah. That idea is un yeah, unreal. I mean, yeah, you know, and then... When your friends going Captain to Kangaroo has nothing on this one. As, oh, yeah. And who, who haven't heard of Captain Kangaroo? Yeah. You know, everybody heard of him, you know, back. I grew up with Captain Kangaroo, but, uh, and um, your friend's going to help you edit the book. Uh, I think I dated that, myself. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you, you don't look your age. So <laughs> that, you. that's good. That's good. So, uh, but I mean, you, I mean, between your business of, of really, uh, you're just a type of woman that really helps people in a positive way. That's uh, the only way to go. And life is too negative. I know, I know. And, and, and it, you're right about that. And you know what, now, since, you, since, since we're here, mm -hmm. and we're sitting there talking and whatnot, and I just feel kind of, uh, what, what do you see in Lyle's future? Well, first of all, Lyle oh, has several different directions he's going. You've got a lot of ideas. Oh, yes. And you haven't quite gotten them down to where you have bullet points of where you're going to start and where you're going to end. You just have a lot. Um, when you do sit down and finally figure out which, when, and how, is the direction that you're going has to be where your mind is set. So if it's this... I already told you, it will right. expand because your perseverance that mm -hmm. you want to continue. Mm -hmm. And as long as you keep a positive thought, see, I call it with all my friends, they know me. Uh -huh. I say aloha. Yeah. And when I go to the bars for my karaoke, because mm -hmm. I don't like going to bars, mm -hmm. yeah. karaoke will bring me into the bar okay. because that's where they are. <laughs> and um, I've learned how not to be part of the negativity. But instead, spread the aloha. And, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, uh, and you do the same by doing the, this. Because you okay. never know when you put a smile on someone's face. Well, that's it. Well, yeah. Thank you. you. I'm, I'm trying to put a smile on your face now. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, your direction you, just has to be minimized yeah, of sure. where I have, and what you want to do. You know what? You say that you hit it on the head. Because I have, I, have I have so many different directions to go things that I'm doing you right. I have so many different uh, And there's goals. one that really concerns you the most. And that's the one that you should put most your energy toward. Wow. Whichever that is. Oh, God. This is real. This is, okay, now, Lau, calm yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, these things that you're sitting, and people don't realize that even listening to this. People don't realize that, that I haven't even talked to her about any of this. I haven't talked to you, but I haven't even shared anything about what's going on in my head and what I'm doing. I haven't shared nothing with you, not one single thing. I have not shared with you, period. And that's the part I call therapy. Wow. And because it's, it it's, it's like you're massage. reading my mind, amen. <laughs> you're reading my mind, and that's scary for me. Because, Actually, because, because it's, it's not, not your mind. I don't do that because I wouldn't want someone to read mine. Okay. It's oh, your heart. heart. And in our mind is so much confusion mm -hmm. that if I was to go there, there's too much. Yeah. yeah. But your heart always speaks the truth. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and you, you did share something about my personal life. <laughs> uh, uh, about your back? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> now, see, now, what? See, now, there's, there's another thing that scared me because. I've been having this lower back pain. Yes, mm -hmm. for, uh, for a while, and 
she, you know, you didn't even know. I mean, out the blue, you said, you know, you know, you, you got lower back pain too. I'm thinking, well, okay, did that? And I didn't mention that to her. So, oh wow. And then you, I said, I know where it stems from. Yes, and I said, where, where? I said, your feet. Yeah, you didn't because <laughs> I have bad feet problems too, and you didn't know that. You no, did not, you didn't know you never that. Never told me. Never told you this before, and that's scary. Now, now you said just now you told me this. Just a second, just by before sitting out we here, went before out. we went on air, <laughs> yes. you told me this out the blue, just out the blue, just said, Lyle, you know, I, said, out the, I didn't ask you, you told me this, I'm going to tell you, this, this girl, is, 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 this woman's right on, right on spot. Every Actually, day. my boss is. Yeah, well, you're, amen. The boss, my boss right on, right, on, right on spot. And um, you, you are the real deal. And um, I thank you. Yeah, you are. And, you know, uh, I just, you know I'm trying to get to my personal. I try to get my personal. I, I, I guess what I meet uh, a nice person, a nice. Uh, mm -hmm. I will one day. Oh yeah, you will. Oh, definitely. But you have to be open, because it will be when you least expect it. Oh wow. You know things happen in ways that most people don't even understand. Yes. And when it comes to something that's right, we're worse at it. Yeah, oh, right. Because we don't think something should happen so easy. Yes. And that's why uh, we don't notice it. Oh, my goodness, girl. Oh, wow. What, what's the person's name? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'm I knew that. To, I never mm, do know that. Mm. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to get all this information out so, so I know. I mean, I, uh, wow. I, mean, I do know that you have something planned that you need to touch on, and it's not in Iowa. And when you go there, you need to do all your homework prior to leaving, and it will become a success. But it's okay. not here in Iowa. It's somewhere that you're going to get something completed. Oh, God. Now, now you're scaring me. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I opened up my mouth, and then she, she tells me these big things about my life. And, uh, Is there I, something? I, yeah. Yeah, oh. I didn't. I don't. I, I don't tell. I'm not talking about this. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. This is something that I can't even talk about. So it you is. You never know. I'm, it is. Okay. I can't wow. talk about this because if, if it happens, believe me, it's going to be big. Yes. I know. Uh, but I can't talk about it because it's I can't. It's big. Yeah. Just I like mean, I said to her, it's big. Wow. And I am. Wow. But you got to do your homework. God. You got to be ready. Oh Lord, please. And if you have someone you trust. Have that someone go through your idea before you do it. Because if that person you can trust will see what you might have missed. Okay. Wow. Okay, now I'm, you really, <laughs> God. Okay, okay, now this is, she's, oh wow, people, I'm letting you know right now, she's a real deal. I haven't, we haven't, we don't, we don't rehearse this. She hasn't told me anything. I mean, I haven't told her anything, and nothing. Everything she's saying is scaring me right now. You don't think I'm scared? I am scared because I have not told her anything about my personal life, about what's going on with me, and things that, I, that I'm in, involved with. I haven't told her a thing, and my back, and that, I'm, you know, she's out the blue. She said this. So she's a real deal. Um, wow. God, Lord. Uh, Nalani, 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 you can't, I, I'll get your name one of these days. Okay, but. It's okay, nobody yeah, can. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> I want you to, I want to thank you, and I want you to, uh, what would you say to, the, we got a minute left, so what would you say to your viewers out there? What would you say to them? I would say, in my language, mahalo nui loa, which means thank you very much for watching the show. You want to shout out for somebody, shout out? Mm, no. <laughs> you're so, Not anybody in particular. You, <laughs> okay, your okay, your son. Uh, you have a beautiful mom. Your, 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 what's your son's name? My one son, my youngest, which is not that young. Uh, his name I call him Chemo. Okay. But his first name is Everett. Everett, you have a beautiful mom. Take care of her. She's 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 a gem. She's a gem. Um, I want to thank you for being on the show You're and very just welcome. and just sharing sharing everything with me and, and, and sharing your journey and what you're doing for, for, as far as your business-wise and your books. I know it's going to be successful. successful. I can't wait to it to happen. And 
you, you want to come back on the show again, we're going to have you back on the show again. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we probably have people in the audience standing and, and you're going to, you know, talk to them. <laughs> so it would be nice. So, hey, I want to, again, thank you again. Um, so I want to talk to my viewers and say, you know what? It's a blessing. You ha if you have a dream, God bless you with a gift. Use it. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it to you and, 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 and hide it. Use it and share it with people so people can bless. God bless you with a gift. Use your gift to the best of your ability. That's why God bless you for the gift to use. So with that saying, you know, God bless y'all. And keep styling and profiling and keep watching the Lifestyle Show. And I'll see you next time right here on PATV Channel 18.